Hey everyone, welcome back. Today let's talk about what makes you a glaucoma suspect and what that diagnosis actually means. First, let's define glaucoma. Glaucoma is a progressive disease with characteristic visual field loss and associated optic nerve changes. So what optic nerve changes are we talking about? The first is the cup to disc ratio. If you have a large cup to disc ratio, that typically makes you suspicious for glaucoma. Or if you have thinning of your optic nerve rim, because that suggests that you're losing some optic nerve cells. So if you're a glaucoma suspect, do you need therapy like patients who have true glaucoma? Well, that's where the art of medicine comes in. I do not treat glaucoma suspect patients. Instead, I bring them back every six months for close diagnostic testing and observation. If the patient who comes back for their testing has confirmatory results that suggest they do have glaucoma, that's when one, I change their diagnosis from glaucoma suspect to glaucoma and two, start therapy. And here's a key point about my practice. I have a very low threshold for starting therapy, meaning that I'm willing to start therapy much sooner for most patients. Why? Well, once you lose that optic nerve, it does not come back. Meaning once you have those blind spots in glaucoma, it is forever gone. An analogy I like using is comparing glaucoma to high blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure and we catch it early, and start you on a medication with very low side effects, we can make a huge difference at protecting your heart, your brain, and your kidneys. Same thing can be said of glaucoma. If we catch it early and start a therapy that has very low side effects, we can make a huge difference at preventing blindness. Anyways, that was an overview of the diagnosis glaucoma suspect. I hope you found that helpful. We'll see you next time.